Conservatives see this and are horrified. Liberals see this and want to replicate it. This was a tweet sent by Representative Lauren Boebert in response to this viral video in which a British police officer is seen arresting a man for having retweeted an insensitive image. Now, I'll get into the details of that specific story in a minute, but we need to just take a second and reflect on the fact that Boebert, a sitting congresswoman, is spending her time not on crafting policy to help working Americans, but is saying that conservatives Conservatives are the party of freedom and justice and anti-authoritarianism. And liberals, on the other hand, want to lock everyone up who looks at their neighbor the wrong way. And if you spend a lot of time on social media, you might just think this is the case with our two parties. But in reality, the right is chipping away at our civil liberties at a pace no one on the left could come close to rivaling. Over a sitting congresswoman dunking on viral videos on the internet in a country that she doesn't live in. So admittedly, this arrest was a little ridiculous. The man in question had retweeted a very offensive image, sure. The response, as far as we can tell, was really severe, and it didn't help the case that the officer's defense of the arrest was that, quote, someone has been caused anxiety based on your social media post. That is why you have been arrested. What did it need to come to? What did it need to come to? Because I don't understand. I posted something that he posted, you come to arrest me, you don't arrest him, why has it come to this? Why am I in cuffs? Because of something he shared, then I shared. Because someone has been caused, obviously, anxiety based upon your social media post. That's not why you've been arrested. Darren, I've got the that is just fodder for right-wing trolls to take advantage of. And it really doesn't happen that often, but when it does, of course, people like Lauren Boebert, who aren't doing anything but sitting on Twitter, dive in and take advantage of it to fuel the culture war. So we all know that Republicans blindly vote time and time again for policies that severely limit our personal liberties, including our bloated Pentagon budget that many insiders have reported includes money for the surveilling of innocent Americans, and then all the way down to local police departments where things like no-knock warrants are legal in certain cases in around 46 states. Tell me how those aren't limiting our freedoms. Or what about this? As the midterms approach, far-right groups have been organizing literal surveillance groups on ballot boxes. In Washington, a group that calls themselves the Washington Citizens United to secure ballot boxes is promoting drop box surveillance statewide and encouraging people to sign up to sit and watch ballot boxes and record videos of people voting. People like Lauren Boebert are using their huge social media platforms to get people to think that the GOP is still the party of small government and freedom. But these right-wing surveillance operations, in addition to the recent Supreme Court cases gutting our rights, really beg to differ. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.